Hello guys, there is Yoda. And today is something different than usually. We're gonna cast uh, Battle Formula F1 replay. It's going to be Anorian. So 2v2 map for Battle Formula F1. And why we're gonna do it? It's because of upcoming tournament. Anorian random tournament that will be sponsored by GameReplace.org. And I'm gonna learn how to play this but for me one so we can learn with me so our players we got here Red uh, Gondor Kerrigan and his teammate or her teammate is going to be Abram playing as Green uh, Mordor and their opponents are going to be Isengard Anon in blue and in grey we got Svago and as we can see, mm, Isengard just took three settlements. Uh, third will be took right away. And um, Rohan decided to go with some peasants. Mordor is going with orcs, of course. He's producing those orcs for free, of course, in this game. And he got three lumber mills as well. Here comes Warchant towards uh, Peasants with Draft and uh, Rook Eyes. So Anon and his Ro Rohan ally Svago is moving forward. Here is uh, Pippin who is trying to bait uh, some Peasants with uh, Rock throwing Rogue on them. As we can see, Anon was able to get into the uh, Orc Pit and is trying to destroy it. While peasants are moving forward, uh, settlement have been free out. And um, let's see how it's going to be. The sentry tower could definitely fall down against those uh, peasants with Rhinko, but we're gonna see how it's going to be. Yeah. So, so the lonely tower have been cancelled by Abram, and I think he's going to lost as well his uh, orc pit. And how about the other side of the map? We got another lonely tower from Anon, and he's defending against the uh, soldiers of Gondor with Eye of Sauron on them, and he'll have been used so they're fully, fully operated. We got Urukais, we got uh, another farm from Gondor, so definitely he's in good shape. Now Anon and uh, his teammate uh, Sago is trying to lure out uh, those swords of Gondor out of the Eye of Sauron. And then he's going to try to deal some more damage. Anon is going for another furnace. Eye of Sauron is moving. So definitely they will move forward with uh, Hobbit, Merry and Peasant. As we can see still over here, Hobbit and Orcs are chased by uh, some Rohan battalion, peasants Rohan battalion on level 2 while another peasants hitting some farms from Kerrigan and Kerrigan is going for stables so she or he, I don't really know <laughs> how to pronounce it Kerrigan is a woman name so yeah she's going for stables and knights And Anon will lose the lumber mill unless Hobbit with uh, Urukais will prevent it. They got running call available. Let's check out our, our players' power points. We got Sagu with, of course, draft ability and Karigan with heal. And as we can see, this lumber mill is standing alive pretty easy. Here is the next farm from Rohan, and Rohan got lots of peasants. Definitely Sago, Sago made a really good job in the beginning of the game, trying to destroy everything that is possible. Every last lumber mill. Mordor is trying to establish some nice looking base of course. With all those uh, lumber mills sh he should be able to do it. Let's see if Kerrigan I is willing to help him. Definitely yes with those Gondor Knights, but of course they're going to be much uh, their cost will be higher 
while he doesn't have the outside uh, settlements, the outside farms and may, it may not pay off, Ranko have been used, or rather Warchon on Peasant and they are going to deal more damage towards 50% uh, damage with 50% armor if I well remember towards towards structures Hobbit got to flee away their knights appear and peasants are going to fight with uh, knights that is not very good idea here comes another farm from Sago he is moving forward with peasants uh, Urukhais are going f towards the lumber mill so as you can see Mordor lo lost lots of lumber mills but he is going towards Warklar trying to buy those two orcs with another work, uh, orc battalion and he is going to be successful over here unless uh, those, Rohi those Rohirrims or Urukhais will get the resources and let's take it. Oh, Ro it's Rohan who, who take all the resources. So definitely a nice and lucky move from Sago. He played perfectly. Mm, Hobbit got to retreat for Kerrigan. She's going for knights. Um, definitely at this moment that's uh, Rohan who get an advantage. She got farms everywhere, even here here and in the other side of the map near his opponent he was destroying everything definitely get an advantage over here let's check the resources so Isengard got 1k resources Mordor got nothing to be honest uh, Sago got uh, 400 and uh, Kerrigan got 300 resources so definitely mm, Mordor got to do something, Mordor got to work hard on himself and trying to sustain he's going with some lonely towers, settlements towers uh, trying to protect uh, those Stoldra houses and here we go Kerrigan placed to his teammate to move with uh, Tenland and I think this Tenland is from yeah, this Netherland is from Mordor but uh, those uh, knights got to get away on level 3 to get some damage done by Lonely Towers definitely lowing those uh, knights and if they're gonna be catched over here yeah, those knights have been catched, uh, stopped and catched by Rohirrim and of course those crossbones this battalion of uh, Rohirrim will get away so knights for Kerrigan have going down has going down. Well will be thrown down by Kerrigan. Mm, she got two Gondor blacksmiths and doesn't have yet received this uh, Rohan farm. Due to not having that much units, he got only or she got only one battalion of uh, knights available as well as Hobbit. There is a Hobbit clocking by um, Sago, so definitely this settlement would not be available for each of the players if uh, Gondor decided to clock him his hero as well overall we got three battalions of uh, two battalions of Rohirrim and Rohirrim ar archers from uh, Sago who is dealing damage uh, towards uh, Troll Troll is luring away and now it's time for Rohirrim to definitely creep this out what is actually going to happen? Yeah they're going to creep it out, there is another battalion of Rohirrims on or Knights of Gondor and they're going towards uh, this Rohan farm but it's not going to be enough they're going to be sniped I think by those uh, Rohirrim archers as we can see they're dealing definitely a good amount of damage the Rohirrims took their resources and they bite this troll out of nothing this troll is going to be biting towards uh, the fortress for Sago but he got the resource and experience from it on the other side we got uh, Mordor who is trying to get the resource from the troller biting the troll out uh, with his orcs we got Theoden from Sago, he got armory as well Rohan armory available mm, defending good play from him uh, how about uh, Anon? Anon got uh, pikemen as well as uh, some combo units Mm, good amount of uh, lumber mills and lumbers as well. 
pretty much set up. He's going for armory as well. And here comes the stroll bited by Rohirims. Those settlement towers will definitely kill him. There is another troll biting by Knights of Gondor. And uh, Karigan adds some um, Gondor blacksmith. Definitely four at least. You need four at least. You want to get four at least to get your um, armory, armor, and uh, forge plates cheaper. We got Teodan on battlefield. Fifty percent damage. Fifty percent bonus in armor. Definitely an advantage for Rohan at the moment. Uh, I Mordor is trying definitely hard to do something with orcs. Uh, let's check his resources. Um, he got one power point available. He's going f at the moment for troll cage and is still spamming orcs, uh, trying to prevail. We got uh, Gondor Knights uh, with heavy armor, getting into the line of uh, Rohini archers, and they're be forcing to flow away for a moment. Uh, hordes and hordes of orcs. Troll have been killed. The lonely troll. And I think that uh, now it's time for uh, Sago to flee away, get his armors, get his uh, heavy armor and force blades as well, which he's actually already got. Already purchased both of them. Actually, no, only heavy armor. He got heavy armor available, and he is going to fight. He have been used. Heavy armor have been purchased. Here comes uh, land as well. Land is uh, from uh, Carrigan, but it's not going to be enough, I think. Oh, actually, Rohan decided to get away from the land for the time being. Heal is still available from Kerrigan, so she can heal their those units. And it's actually happened. It's going to force uh, Rohan to get away. Really good play here with power points uh, by Kerrigan. And got Warch on Impound here. One power point. One power point. And more and more orcs from Abraham while he's going with some mountain trolls trying to upgrade it his uh, troll cage level 2 and get drama trolls we can see um, Swaggo going for um, forge plates upgrade while uh, Karigan is still standing strong on this, uh, he got all already the base purchase, so he only need to buy it. But he doesn't have resources. He doesn't have this uh, settlements field to with his farms, so it's going to be harder for him. But definitely, Karigan is doing some damage with knights. Abraham got uh, industry available and he's going to use it right away. Mm. Grohan got draft and heal only, almost two power points, but he's definitely waiting for free at least to get uh, Elven Archers Alliance. Oh, those pikemen should definitely turn around and they're actually going to do it. Two settlements going down. Uh, Forge plates have been purchased by those knights. Here comes more and more orcs towards the uh, lumber mill that doesn't have lumber uh, anymore. Mm, here we go with Rohan and his uh, Rohim archers and Rohirims. And it looks like that it's going to be tougher and tougher for Rohan. Like even with this, uh, with those plates and stuff, uh, he's not able to do that much damage. At the moment, uh, knights are going away. Almost level four for Rohir or Rohan battalion. So definitely nice to check it out. Good microwave sago anymore uh, by Kerrigan anyway. So yeah, she get to fly away with those uh, knights. I don't really know if it's she or him, but let's stay like it should be. Uh, another Gondor Knights Battalion. How about resources? It looks like that none of those uh, guys got any resources. Only Mordor, of course, who got orcs for free. 100 resources for him. Orc pet is level 2. Another troll cage will be added by uh, Abraham at the moment. 
Swag got um, two PowerPoints. He's waiting for free. Mm, carry gun. She got only one PowerPoint. We've improved the smithy. And it's coming to Isengard, who's moving forward. As a reminder, Isengard got a Weibull Pound here that increases his vision and 15% of speed for heroes and archers and war chance, so definitely good power points if he will be combine them in the right time. He doesn't have lures though because uh, none of the, his opponents get any heroes, Gandalf doesn't appear yet, so definitely he doesn't need to have uh, those kind of units. And now, mm, as we saw, that Kerrigan spotted that his opponent or her opponent is moving towards the base of Abraham. Good scout over here. Here comes Theoden to uh, lead the 50 of some bonus uh, constantly to those uh, combos units. Yeah, let's check it out. Rohan is still going towards those settlements, destroying them. While Isengard is moving forward towards uh, the base of Abraham, killing all those orcs. Uh, we are waiting from Abraham for those trolls. We can see four trolls with a stick already. He's going with drama troll and another troll, mountain troll, on the way. Warchon have been used. And how is it going to be? Stable is still level 1, so mm, there is no way for shields upgrades for Rohirrims. Rohirrim is moving forward on their level 4. They should be definitely get away over here, and that's actually what's happened. L um, those settlement towers going down or being cancellated. Uh, Orkpet is definitely going down as well. Here comes uh, Gondor with his uh, knights, and he's waiting for the mistake. Or maybe he will be attacking t from two sides with Abraham. Here comes uh, the elephant wood. Here comes uh, Eye of Sauron as well. But uh, Rohan, uh, Gondor, Rohan is not moving forward. Here comes Tandonland. Or another elephant wood. Yeah, here comes another elephant wood for Sago. Hill will be purchased down. Here comes Tandonland. Drama Troll up here. We got uh, five trolls in total with Drama Troll. But I don't think so, it's enough for this kind of army, this uh, sign of army. Maybe we'll see how good the spread will be done by uh, by Anon. And I think it's actually good. He's luring all those uh, trolls into the one pick of combo units and trolls will receive level 2, but uh, for what cost? They will definitely lost a lot of uh, guys. Here we go with some Gondor Knights battalion still in the back of those uh, combos. Trolls receive level 5 uh, already, level 2 on another one, and combos get uh, shredder around. Mm, definitely good, good attack from the trolls at the moment. Nice micro. I I could suspect that um, Isengard is going to make it, and definitely it, will, it is what I was thinking about, but um, he's aiming definitely wrong, wrong unit. He's aiming the Knights of uh, Gondor, which is not a good decision. And then you get to kill mountain trolls, and it cost him entire army. Of course, he was dealing a good amount of damage, but he definitely get uh, more than lots of power points. He got four power points, uh, and uh, Abraham got three, almost four as well. And he's going to shred the entire army from his point, just just killing them around, don't letting uh, anything to escape. To be honest, maybe those uh, Rohirrims will escape, but. Anyway, for what cost? Knight stay alive for uh, carry gun, and she decided to get uh, get it out with knights on level eight, and with knights on level three. Definitely those arrows, those uh, Rohirans uh, units, Rohirrims should definitely take care about those knights, but it's not enough time to catch them. Two trolls stay alive. One is on level three. One is on level six. And we got drama troll as well. Definitely good defense uh, from 
uh, Abraham over here. He got the industry available and he's moving forward. Definitely with those units. I'm trying to establish some nice looking uh, base. Uh, destroying those settlements, definitely. We got Hobbit over here on the other side of the map near uh, Rohan base. And he get the um, farm over here. Carig and this. We got 9, level 9 uh, Knights of Gondor, so definitely it's worth to mention. We got Auto Heal on this mountain troll as well. Level 6, and uh, it's We've actually good to see. Today. We got Lures at last for Anon, and he's going with more combos, of course. Uh, he's quaking units because it's the only, only thing that he can do. 3k resources already for um, Gondor, anyway, and he got 2 power points already, so Gondor of the White can appear. No, definitely you don't want, uh, as a Rohan, you don't want to fight on this land, on this elfin wood that belongs to um, Gondor. One battalion of uh, knights disappear. Level 3 and level 9 uh, knights of Gondor will disappear in a moment, getting away. Hobbit have been killed by uh, Gondor uh, with, for Rohirrims. And um, yeah, Svago is going towards Alabermas one more time, trying to mm, destroy as much as possible from from Mordor. Shield upgrade is going to be purchased by by Gondor, mm, which may be even better than Gandalf because. Um, you can easily recreate your units, and with Shield and uh, Elfen Alliance, you can definitely take down the combos. While Gandalf could be easily pinned by uh, Lures and killed, so it may be even bet even a better idea. Three battalions of uh, Knights of Condor over here. Uh, one of them on level nine. One on, on level three, moving forward. Right uh, got the shield for um, got a shield upgrade available for himself, and trying to deal as much damage as possible to those settlements, uh, and staying alive in doing so. So we're gonna see more and more knights from uh, Karigan, and Rohirrim is does not deal that much damage anymore while those trolls with the stick are on the way. We got Aragorn with uh, mm, how we call this spell? Andruil? Andruil, yeah. With Andruil, mm, is he going to be that viable? Maybe mm, near those combos, definitely, because of his leadership. 50% damage and 100% combo experience for troops near Arag Aragorn, so it's going to be definitely useful for him and for those combos that he will be mixed with. We got Lures here as well, so definitely no no other hero will deal damage. This is why maybe um, Gondor is not going for Gandalf. Oh, on the land, it could be definitely painful for for Gondol to lose all of those in Rohi uh, Rohirrims, as we can see, heal will be used. Rohirrims are going down. Heal for opponents inside have been used as well. Level 10 for Gondor Battalion. They are still on the wood that belongs to um, Gondor. And definitely they are dealing more and more damage towards their opponents. Uh, knights, as we can see. So Kerrigan definitely took a lead over here, killing lots of knights. Maybe not the entire battalion, but definitely leveling up to uh, his or her knights and get one power point from it. We got two of them level 3. On level 4 he got Glorious Charge for uh, Rohirrimis. At this moment he will uh, support uh, the combos with his leadership as well as Aragorn is going to do it. Mm, Kerrigan is going towards those settlements, destroying everything that is uh, possible. Here we go with Elfenwood as well as uh, someone 
half an eye uh, from Kerrigan mm, as uh, she's going with everything she got. Here we go with Drama Troll. Mm. It's going to be replaced with Tenderland. And uh, and another Tenderland. And is it going to be enough? It looks like those throws are full and half. They got Eye of Sauron on them. They should definitely deal a um, good amount of damage to those combos first. Uh, then they take care about Aragorn. This Eye of Sauron should be definitely on, on those throws, which is not. Here comes... Uh, Darkness from Mordor, I think. Drama Troll is definitely in the back, shouldn't be. Mm, Theoden have been killed. We got it, two trolls heading towards the combos battalion. We got Lurz available, but he's only on level one. Aragorn uh, shredding those uh, mountain trolls, uh, killing them one by one. Uh, And how is it looks like Abraham Darkness definitely mm, do a lot of things over here. All the combos going down uh, here last only those uh, knights over here. I have Sauron will be on them, and uh, it may cost the Loris's life. Yeah, Loris is going down level four. How about Aragorn? Aragorn got of course Atlas and all those power points. Uh, Alan deal as well, so I think he will definitely get the uh, job done. Yeah, knights have been f forced to retreat. Atlas have been used. There is another battalion of uh, knights, but Aragorn is using uh, Alan deal, and every last battalion is moving back. Now they are moving forward. There is no more Atlas, no more Blade Master, no more heal even, as well as Alan deal. Every last power point have been used to save Aragorn. Aragorn killing all those units with two hits. Uh, receive level seven. Mm, here comes uh, Elfen Alliance from um, from Swago to trying to protect himself. Aragorn is low in health. Is it going to be enough? No, Aragorn is going to be saved over here, and elves are going to be killed. Really good save with Aragorn over here. But here comes those knights on level 10, they're definitely in high level tier. Uh, as well, they got this darkness. Uh, I don't think that spell is still available, but definitely it's a very powerful. Now Palantir have been used. Two more battalions of knights appear in the right position at the moment to fight this this battle. Let's check the power point. Sago got heal available. As well as uh, carrying and get five power points as well, while um, Anand got four almost. Abraham just used it, and as well as Saga used his power points to get uh, Elfin Wood as well as uh, Elfin Alliance, as we saw previously. It doesn't seem like any of those uh, players got the resources. Oh, Ker Kerrigan is going to, f to for Gandalf and will get two power points uh, definitely to get him in white. Argon got his at uh, his Blade Master as well as Alan Deal available. Level 7 uh, Gondor Knights, but are, are very low in health. Could be killed over here. Here comes Gandalf the Grey at the moment. Devon, he will receive uh, his white colors in the seconds. Here comes Legolas as well for Sago. Mm, here is Gandalf the White. I have Sauron up here. Mm, Atlas is not available, but I don't think so. Th that those uh, knights will proceed to killing uh, Aragorn. So here comes Gandalf the White. And we got switch over here um, to towards uh, Gondor work ship workshop uh, to just uh, create catapults. We got Legolas on the field with Hawk Strike, and now Lightning Sword will be used. K 
taking all those Rohirrims over here, allowing the half. Good amount of damage done by Gandalf. As well as uh, Istari Light will be used. Put down some of Rohirrims. And they all get to flow away and heal themselves. Abraham is going towards um, getting more trolls on the field uh, and sustain. What we got here, Theoden, Aragorn and Legolas chilling out, almost in the middle, waiting for Serohirims to appear. We got Gandalf who is uh, forcing himself to destroy the farm. You got almost a lightning sword and Istari available one more time, so definitely Rohan will not uh, proceed this uh, fight. Anon is still chilling in the base, waiting for Saruman I think. And the lure story appear. And we got Gondor Knights still proceed to destroy as much as possible, as much as uh, possible with those lumber mills, getting more power points in the process. And Rohan is forced to get away from the middle, mm, trying to catch as much as possible those knights. On level 10 and level 4, almost level 5. Let's check the power points for both the players. Here comes Hot Strike, destroying lots of units and low others, uh, low in health. Here comes Gandalf with his Lightning Strike, but uh, not killing Legolas in the process. Mm, Level 10 button is still alive. Uh, there is another level 7. We got as well some Urukai's crossbones horde. In some combos, we got lures as well as Cripple available. So definitely kind of got to get away with his Rohims, uh, heal them near this will. And Kerrigan is going with uh, trebuchets at the moment. And got four power points available. While his teammate got almost mm, almost one only, but he regained his uh, industry as well as uh, darkness, so it should be okay so far. Of course, Zorhan and Ising are taking and going to attack, being more aggressive. We're gonna go with trebuchets as well as m some catapults to just defend against those uh, combos battalions. Um, Gondor is uh, heading the way of his uh, teammate to just help him stay alive. Here is trebuch. Here is a witch king uh, from Mordor, and he should be okay at the moment. Darkness is still available for him. Warchant have been used. Mm, Kerrigan got available his uh, elfin wood and. Uh, Elfen Alliance, here comes Darkness, and uh, Darkness and Eye of Sauron. Of course, lands will be replaced. And those two trolls should definitely take care about uh, crossbones at the moment, but they're standing doing nothing. It's definitely a bad idea. Here comes Wizard Blast, uh, he'll have been used. One of those trolls are in the back fighting with all those uh, Rohan units and Theoden is almost done here comes uh, Lighting Sword from Aragorn, a Scratch have been used, uh, Scratch have been used by Witch King Atlas have been used and how is it going to be mm, Lighting Sword, uh, fighting with everything that appear over here, Theoden is done Elfen Warriors definitely trying to get as much as possible. 
Aragorn is trying to get away, level 8 on him. Rohirrim is low in health. Oh, could be sniped out. Oh, lots of uh, Gondor's battalions over here. And Aragorn is going down. 6 power points for um, carry gun and summon eagles up here. Rohan is still trying to deal some damage, going towards Lumber Mills. I don't think so, it's enough damage that he could uh, do at the moment. Here comes uh, Eagles. Carrying a gun, get to use those Eagles. Of course, they will not automatically fight. But here comes Carrigan with his uh, level 2 Knights of Gondor. And the game is over. This looks like uh, Sago and Anon doesn't have any more units to prevail their deaths. Really good defense from Mordor and Gondor. Really good cooperation from both the sides. Uh, really good use as well as those Thunderlands. One by one everyone used them in the right uh, seconds and right time. Really nice looking game. I hope to see such games in the upcoming tournament. Anyway, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this cast of Battle Mode of One for the first time. Sorry for the mistakes I made and have a fantastic day. May the force be with you. Bye bye.